Hi everyone, this is Matt Archambo from JoinTutorialsOnline.com and this is podcast number 11. In this podcast, what I'd like to show you is how I would start to draw a frontal view, a portrait frontal view. Now, I've been asked a lot about this lately. A lot of members of JoinTutorialsOnline.com have, have saying, been saying to me, Hey Matt, when are you going to do the frontal view? Well, here it is, and I'm going to do it digitally this time, just to add to the digital library that I have on my site because uh, I have a lot of traditional drawing uh, tutorials now. There's two different ways and that's what I'm going to show you basically in this podcast. There are two different ways on how I would draw a frontal portrait. Now just a side note, what am I working in? I'm, I'm old school. I'm working in CS2 and uh, I'm going to just probably do this all in one layer. I'm just going to draw it. I'm not going to use any fancy tools. I'm, I'm working on a Wacom Cintiq uh, screen and yes, yeah, CS2 and Wacom Cintiq screen. So here we go. One way that I would do this, um, excuse that noise, that's just my microphone. Uh, the one way that I would start to do this portrait is basically um, section it. So I would start right here at the triangle of her forehead. All right. And why am I starting there? Just because that looks easy for me to understand. And so basically what I would do is I'd come on in here and I draw that this little section of her forehead, the shape of her hair versus the shape of her face. And then what I would immediately do is start to get in the shape of her eyebrow um, right next to her hair. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start all over again just because I want to move this over to the right a little bit more. Okay, so let's just start that all over again. And so basically, yeah, let's come on in and draw the shape of her hair. And it kind of loops down right up above her, her eyebrow. Then I'm going to, um, th I guess a different way of me starting this podcast and this portrait is drawing what looks easiest to draw first. That's another way to look at this. And so basically, I've got that triangular shape in, like I already said. And now what I'm going to do is I'm getting this eyebrow in, and I'm getting the tilt of the eyebrow. And so what I do is I, is I look at, at how long this eyebrow is, and I look at the distance from the edge of the eyebrow to the edge of her uh, skin, where her skin meets her hair. So I'm going to say her skin meets her hair right about here. So next thing that I would do is I would really do my best to get in... I know this is probably really small. This is the first chapter of many. I'm going to be doing this drawing all day. And uh, this is the first chapter of many. So you're just seeing how I start. And most people really want to see how I start. So that's why I'm sharing this with you in the podcast. So right away, shadow shape. Okay? Shadow shape of the eyebrow. Come on, microphone. Stop making noise. All right, so now I'm just going to pull this thing over a little bit. And the next step that I do, even though this is digital and I'm working on a screen, I am going to lean back as far as I can to look at what I've gotten in so far. So the next step that I'm going to do is right over here on her head, there is a, um, and I want to go skinnier and longer with this eyebrow. It's too wide and and to yeah so that's better so the next step I'm gonna do and this is a little advanced is I see a convex line it's very hard to see but it's there I see a convex line rolling in to her lower eyelash okay so let's get in very lightly where her lower eyelash is and let's get in now where her upper eyelid is so basically I'm looking at the distance from her lid uh, the dark line up top to her eyebrow. Now I lifted her eyebrow up to make it a little bit skinnier. So I'm taking that into consideration. And basically I'm just drawing this eye. And I'm not going to commit and go too, too crazy with it just yet. Because the trick to drawing a, a frontal view is doing both eyes at, at the same time. So you got to get something in first. So now what I do here is um, I understand that this is probably really light on the podcast but you know I like to work with a very light opacity uh, on my brushes and I like to build up slowly with my darks okay so that's step number one step number one is just to get something in there with that eyebrow okay I'm looking at the white of the eye like it is negative space 
okay and I'm looking at that negative space now I've said many times before on all my portrait DVDs and my portrait tutorials on drawingtutorialsonline.com is I really am not a big fan of doing a lot of dark line on the lower eyelid and the same holds true for working digitally now if you do this part right it should already start to look like the model okay and it's it's resembling her slightly so I'm just gonna give myself a little line I'm looking at the negative space between her iris and her lower eyelid and I'm, I'm looking at all these little tilts and distances so this is that convex line so I'm gonna extend these lashes and so I'm gonna go back to my eyebrow now and just this just wraps so I need to make some adjustments okay so these are my first few lines and I already need to make adjustments and that's okay you know you can get very frustrated at this point in the drawing but you do not want to get frustrated because this is very early on so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to widen the distance between her lash here the end of her lashes and the edge of her face So I'm gonna pull this over here now and I'm just gonna this is her cheekbone and I'm gonna roll up it's not that far off because I'm kind of touching that line okay so now I'm gonna come back and just revisit this part of her hair so uh, as you can see I'm moving around this drawing a lot now I'm doing I'm doing a lot of pencil strokes and, and it may look like I'm not doing much but again uh, with drawing digitally I'm a big believer in keeping the opacity very very light okay because I'm I'm a big believer of light to dark now a lot of people don't draw that way and I'm cool with that you know you have to do with what works best for you but if you're trying to pull something from me um, I'm just a big believer of working light to dark now what we can do next is I can already see I'm going too dark and or too low with this part of her eye so I'm measuring the distance from her eyelash over here straight across and this needs to be higher and maybe this needs to be higher so oh god I don't even know what size my eraser is on this pen tool so I'm gonna leave it at that now um, let's go a little bit darker with her eyebrow just because value is so important to me when I'm working on a portrait value is huge so that's that side of the eye and I'm gonna say I'm even gonna lift this up so now what I do is I look at I, I'm, I'm leaning really far back you can probably hear my voice got a little bit lighter on the microphone a little less intense just because I'm further away from my screen and so what I'm gonna do next now is I'm going to try my very best to get in the shape of her hair okay so basically let's go to part two of this podcast all right so this is the way that I would start if I was gonna just do it in this manner of just I'm leaning I'm leaning back I'm looking at the drawing so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of put in where I, I think her eye should go uh, maybe even the center of her eye right over here and I'm gonna look which which pupil is higher than the other this one is higher okay and so that's what I start to do next I start to just like put in a couple of lines and lean back okay get the width of her face and um, I would just keep doing these measurements from left to right left to right left to right now the second way you can go about doing a frontal view that's the way that I, I would like to do it in this tutorial that I'm gonna do for members but very quickly here um, and let me up the opacity over here so it's not gonna be so light um, the other way to do this portrait this is the more uh, traditional way where I like to teach my members of the website and my students at SVA shape of hair so I'm drawing this part of her hair versus the shape of her face so now we go back to that triangular section alright and let's just kinda get the top of her hair and she's got a couple of loose strands this is basically the better way because you're gonna use her hair as a frame so we've got the shape of her ear the shape of her ear down here her ears are kind of level and now I'm just gonna kinda of come on down with this and just establish where her chin is so I'm gonna say her chin is right about here and let's loop up 
cheekbone. Okay, so I would have to work on this for a while, but basically I'm just showing to you how I would think about getting in her shape of hair, shape of face, the different way than I just did with just drawing her eye and then moving over. So I can see right away her face is too wide, so I would continually strive to skinny up her face because I want to get her likeness with the width of her face make her neck a little bit skinnier and so I'm basically looking at all this cool negative space between her ear and her shoulder so this needs to drop okay so this is the safer more traditional way to do the frontal view of this particular pose of this particular model so now basically what I have here and maybe what I'll even do for members of the site is work on these simultaneously to show um, the members which one I do better. This is probably the one that I would do better because now what you have here is you have a compartment for her face and so her chin needs to be lower. I can see that immediately. Her face needs to be longer. Her chin needs to be lower and so a lot of things I'm leaving out. This is just in the beginning stages. Now what I would do is just kind of find where her pupils are and, and, and go from there. All right, so in this podcast, basically, I just showed you two different ways to start working on a frontal portrait, a frontal view, which most people have a lot of uh, challenges with. And I will say it's not an easy thing to do, no doubt about it. It's really kind of difficult. But if you approach it to these one of these two ways, you'll um, have something to confront that white piece of paper with. Now again, I'm old school. What am I looking at? I'm looking at this negative space. I'm looking at this negative space. I'm thinking about her hair as angles. You know, same things, same old, same old with me. I'm really into using a limited amount of, of techniques and really mastering them. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. If you want to learn more about how to draw this frontal view, um, I'll probably be adding another uh, YouTube clip uh, with this as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.